Hey, Benji. Hey. Isaac, what an incredible fight. Um, do you mind telling us your thoughts about the main event against, you know, David Light, mostly Amatangi? Oh, yeah, I'm just wrapped with the fight for both guys and for boxing in the country. It was what we said is world class. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. Obviously, we're happy to get the win, but I mean, we're, we're really good friends with Grant and Wilson, that's a part of me said <laughs> it's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, now I'm just wrapped that it was such a good fight. In fuck, Miss was in it every step of the way. It was, it was bloody good. You know, as you said, it was world class. You know, this, this fight was supposed to be on the undercard. Are you happy that you made it happen this year? Oh, yeah. I, I, sometimes you believe in things are meant to be, and, and I think it was this, for us. I mean, it, it put all the attention on them, you know, and it was deserving of being a main event, and it, it was an undercard fight. And, yeah, I'm wrapped with it. I'm wrapped with the fight. Obviously, I'm wrapped with the result because my guy won, but, look, we're really close to Muslim that as well, and I think they're happy with They've gone up weight divisions. Um, I think everyone's happy. Was, I think in some ways everyone's happy. Yeah. Was Dave trying to being smart in this fight? Because there's a few moments he rocked Mosey, but he didn't really jump and attack him and finish him off. Was it was it like a you know because he knows the caliber and strength of Mosey? That's just because we like nah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's nah, tell you. We respect the power he's got, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is dangerous all the time. Yeah. And one thing Mosey has is if we we're, we're going to finish him off, he can catch us, man. He's a killer. Yeah. And I don't think people realize um, how hard Mosey can punch and how hard he can take a punch. Like, yeah. Do you think Mosey could, if he landed a good shot on David, trouble him and rock him? Dead right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Of course he could. That's what we're worried about the whole ten rounds. <laughs> can you tell us the game plan just on this fight? What was? How were you? Uh, you know, trying to deal with Mosey. Grant come up with going south ball that was nice straight away, so that kind of changed a few things. Okay. Um, credit to them, they, they changed things up. I thought they won the first round. Um, see, I don't think. See if, uh, Love you, bro. I'm out. I'll see you soon. I don't think. Um, see, bro. Thank you. I don't think um, they were out there to win rounds. They were out there to knock us out. So I don't think the scores are relevant in this fight. It was a great fight. I, it wasn't a. They weren't there to win. They were there to knock us out. And, and they, they didn't think. In fact, the, the game plan was to keep Moose at bay. And we wanted to get rid of them. But we didn't want to take that risk at the end, man. Because like, you saw what happened in the UK, right? Yeah, I saw what happened in the UK. I thought it was better tonight. I, I, UK, yeah, I, I, he caught a guy. But that, that was a super moment. Today, he was a fully fledged cruiserweight man. He was a bigger puncher. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I can't give him enough credit. I see. I can't give what were you telling Dave Light in, in, in the corner? Like, what was he saying to you? Oh, just to focus, just to see the punches, to be smart, not fall into their traps or not get emotional. And, and that's what they want, is to, they want to fight, they want to sit there and brawl. And so what, what now for Dave Light? Like, he beat a high caliber talent from New Zealand. Mose is no joke. And uh, now what's what's the plan for, for Dave going, going forward? Um, Fuck, we just want to fight for a world title, man. We want to win a world title. That, people think it's a pipe dream, but it's not. And, and now we, we, we potentially it could be any time. Might not be. You don't know it. But we're in the zone. We're going to be ranked in the top five in the world now, which is amazing. I mean, I never, I don't think we ever had dreams, to be honest. I think we it just we just kept fighting fight by fight. And um, we're here now, and, and we believe in them. And we just need that fight so we can we can pull it off, really, you know, take an opportunity. And that's what, I'd say coming from a small country like this, you get a chance, we've got to take it. I think we can. Yeah, because today it was world class. We were watching world class performance and it really felt like it. You could see the audience, they were just going crazy, man. It was, yeah. it was Electric City in there. I think, um, I, it, was, it was amazing for me. I think, um, for me, I really like proper boxing. I, I've always had a problem with, corporate sort of stuff and that and for me a night like this means a lot a lot to me to see amateurs kids and that and then looking up to top guys like David and that and being able to do it in a place like this some of us say oh, the shitty old David you know that's a pretty cool place man it's a pretty cool atmosphere and it was a world class fight how, how does it feel to end the year like this you know uh, Jerome went pro uh, Andre got the win you know this time he stopped uh, Dylan right in this in, in the second round uh, second fight that they had how does it feel to end, 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 end the year like this Good. It feels really good. It, we, I mean, you've seen our gym. We've put a lot of, we've kind of put our life into this, and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Fantastic, Isaac. Wishing uh, you and your family a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year.